Living on the Coast is proudly brought to you by Holiday Haven Tourist Parks. Planning your next adventure to the South Coast. Visit holidayhaven.com.au for more information. The steam engine, which powered boats, cars, but more importantly, railway, looked outdated with the introduction of the electronic age. Here on the South Coast, a group is keeping the world of steam engines and locomotives alive in miniature. The Penwood Club is set on a rural property and we speak to Secretary Frank about the hobby and why Penwood is important to them. Shall I call it a passionate hobby? You've got to be a little bit eccentric or weird I suppose, to take on the task of building or restoring these things. We've got people in this club, for instance, who, uh, in addition to building and operating the locomotives, are very interested in building uh, model boats, so it's a mix. I think it's that interest in reproducing something in miniature form that uh, has been a part of our lives for a very long time. <laughs> Not the trailer. This 70 class is again from photographs and drawings. In all of these there are variations between engines. Copples, there are hundreds and probably uh, tens of different actual shapes and so on. So this is a specific locomotive and the same with this one. The guys who are members here have been members in other clubs for a very, very long time. So there's a lot of skill in the game represented here. We're always keen, of course, to try and attract younger characters because sooner or later we'll fall off the perch. And it'd be nice if there's someone around to uh, keep building them and operating them. Just let it go forward, just now tighten it. That'll do. There are many clubs, of course. I think the Australian Association of Live Steamers is around about 100 years old and is one of the oldest organisations of its type in the world. Joining a club is very easy. The smart move, of course, is to visit two or three times and see if you're interested and inclined to model. And as you've seen here, not all of these characters are particularly interested in uh, building locomotives or operating them. Some of them are very keen to look after track signalling. And then you might have noticed the signalling here is a very high standard. It's electronically operated. Uh, all the rails are uh, profile rails. So you've got people, uh, a mix who have got interest in particular aspects of modelling, it's a good opportunity to play trains or play at what you like doing. Steam engines particularly have stayed with the technology and the general design that was used then, so that there hasn't been much change in 150 odd years uh, between what operated then and what I operated until the late 60s when steamers were uh, taken out of the game here in Australia. But uh, that urge to model something that's been built uh, goes across steam, petrol, uh, diesel, it's into aircraft. There, there seems to be some sort of a fascination with reproducing in miniature almost anything that's been done before. And uh, it makes life very interesting. The important thing is that we are able to attract and retain some young members who are enthusiastic, have got some technical inclination and can share that dream of uh, perhaps uh, being able to show their children and grandchildren what it was like in the good old days and uh, what we regard as, uh, or it was high technology at the time, is low tech right now but still a lot of fun and we'd love to see them around.